and what is up back with another awesome video today just gonna keep rocking these out as you know so right over here we've got this woman helen hadsell who i think is one of the most awesome people to ever live and the reason i like finding people like this is essentially because there's a couple of people who have all different types of books and literature and what you will notice Neville Goddard, Dr. Joseph Murphy, Helen Hadsall, Dr. Joe Dispenza, a lot of these people, they're all talking about the same thing. They're literally all talking about the same thing in their way that they experienced it. So when you see enough of them, you go, wow, I can see the common ground between all of them. And that's how you find it for yourself. So Helen Hadsall, who is she? Well, she is, was known as the competition queen. And the reason for that is because she won every single competition she ever entered, which was recorded at over 5,000. And so I'm going to go through her techniques that she did, or the one formula, I should say, towards the end of this video. So if you want to see that part, stick around till the end. I'm just going to give a little bit of background before we jump into that. So how she started was she found a book by Norman Vincent Peale called The Power of Positive Thinking. I'll leave a link in the comments. Really good book. And that's where she learned from that and actually started practicing the techniques. Very important because a lot of people, they try do these techniques, but they do it with like the lotto and they try win like a hundred million, which is all fair and good. You could be one of those people who just has a knack for it and who gets it. But a lot of people don't have that yet because they haven't strengthened that muscle of manifesting. So if you want to start, start by little things, you know, what your mind thinks you could maybe get. You know, if you could manifest a cup of coffee for free from someone or an, a good one was always if you can't find a parking space at a busy mall and you're driving around the parking lot and you can't get there, a good thing to do is then to, obviously, when you're waiting somewhere, don't just do this while you're driving. Just close your eyes and envision yourself in the parking space. You've switched off your car now, and you got the parking space, and now you're about to go in. And then stay in that assumption. Stay in the wish fulfilled as you keep driving around. Magic will happen. And once something like that happens, you go, oh my goodness, I'm capable of that. Okay, what else can I get? And that's how you strengthen the muscle. And so that's why I said it's very important to practice the techniques until you become a master. So she read this book and she started practicing techniques and things. And her husband was sitting there reading a magazine. And she asked him, hey, if there's anything you want, what would it be? And he showed her this competition on the magazine to win a certain motor because he liked to fish. And so she said, and there's the power of like the imagination because she said that she sat there and in her imagination, she became her husband, which is interesting because this is what you're able to do with your imagination. You can do anything that you can think of. And it's funny because in school, they would always tell you, like, stop daydreaming. You know, they would always tell you not to use your imagination. It's like, oh, they tell your parents, oh, he's a good kid, but he, he daydreams all day. And it's like, and then you get in trouble for using your imagination. And then you realize later in life, oh, my goodness, my imagination is key to what I want. But that's neither here nor there. So she sat there and she sat as a husband fishing and he had the motor that he wanted. So she became him and then lived through that experience of the wish fulfilled. Enters the competition a week later, gets the call, you've won. And that started her off on a journey to get houses and cash and anything that she entered. I'll leave another link to her book, Name It and Claim It. It's called The the Winnier and Wishcraft. I don't know how you say that first word, but also really good where she goes into detail about it. You can just read the PDF online. 
And so this is her technique that she used. It's called SPEC, S-P-E-C. And essentially what that stands for is select it, project it, expect it, collect it. So pretty simple, right? So when you're selecting it, that gives you the clarity. So if you like, if you're ordering food at a restaurant and maybe you don't like tomatoes, I want this meal, but I don't want this. I want this and I don't want this. That is how you select what you want. Clarity. You have to know exactly what you want. Then you project it. That's when you use your visualization, your imagination. This is where you're able to the wish fulfilled, as Neville says, stay in the wish fulfilled. That's how you're projecting it out now. And then expect it. Another very important step. So you're going to expect it in terms of if you order something off of Amazon, I've used this before, you use something off of Amazon or you order something off of Amazon and then you literally, you know it's coming in the next three days. So you expect it. You just wait. It's already coming to you. And you, ha you have the confidence that this is going to happen. And then collect it. Collect what you've created for yourself. It speaks for itself. That is her method to doing it. And so the projecting, having that clarity is very good by selecting it, obviously. And expecting it right after that is knowing it's coming to you and walking in that confidence of the wish fulfilled so that's going to be my video on it i've learned a lot from her like i said i'll leave all the material in the comments below and it's people like this who's really powerful who i feel like the world needs to know more of because you don't really know a lot about these types of people but anyways that's going to be it for the video if you liked it hit the thumbs up if you know someone who wants to, who needs to see something like this, share it with them. And if you want to see more type of videos like this for true mastery of what you can do, the endless power that is inside of you, subscribe. Because I'm going to be, be dishing these out more and more and more. And that's it. So check out some of my old videos there, there, and subscribe over here. I'm out. Peace.